So you've been investigating a gang for a while, and they have a big drug deal going down tomorrow. You finally got one of their drug mules' phones, and you can analyze it and find out where that drug deal is going on. But it's an iPhone, and you don't know where to begin. Well, you've been given a dump of the phone, so what we can do is start with iLeap. So jump over to GitHub, look for iLeap, and then let's go ahead and clone this repository. Copy that, go into our command line because we're running on Linux, but this would also work if you have Git installed in Windows. Type git clone, paste in the repository for iLeap, hit enter. Now we have iLeap and we also have our iPhone dump available. Go into the iLeap folder and then we have our requirements that we need to install and type pip three install dash r requirements pip will go through and download all of the requirements that you need installed to be able to run iLeap once that's done python 3 and then iLeap gui.py press enter and you'll get a really beautiful iLeap interface go ahead and click browse folder where we want to save the report output to click ok now we have an iphone file system dump so we can just do browse folder and then click on that dump folder you can have a, a couple different file system and metadata entries but iLeap will scan through all of that click ok we've pointed it to our data now we can select any of the modules that we want almost all of them will be selected by default and go ahead and click process and then just wait for it to finish so once processing is complete you'll get this little pop-up you can also see the log behind there this log will also be in the output folder so you can see a text version of that log go ahead and click ok the application will close but the html version of the log itself will open up in your browser automatically and then we have a bunch of different options here so account configuration account data we also have the device details tab that we can check out uh, address book contacts that could be interesting to see you know who they were calling and when they were last created but we're specifically looking for information about locations so that would be in text messages possibly GPS locations. Let's go ahead and see if we can find call history. Maybe somebody was trying to contact the suspect and call history might be interesting to us. Uh, we could have something in, for example, notes if the suspect was leaving a note to himself about GPS coordinates or maybe an address. So that's something to check out real quick. Google Maps cache routes. So if they'd already been uh, at a particular location, maybe they've been to that site before. We might be able to look here. Reminders here could be interesting if they have a reminder about the meeting uh, and its location. Search terms may be interesting if they used a browser to get to the Maps application. And then we can also look for things like images, anything that would give us a hint about potential locations or contact details for somebody that they could be meeting the next day. Just with a few minutes of processing, we now have a lot of basic information. Now there is a lot more information available on the phone. iLeap didn't parse out everything, but if you need a quick turnaround, if you need to know something very fast, this is a good place to start start because it does only take a few minutes. iLeap is constantly being updated and since we got the GitHub repository, every time you run it, before you run it, make sure that you actually do update iLeap just to check and see if you have all of the parsers that are currently available. So the way to update iLeap if you got it from the GitHub repository is to type git pull and then if it says already up to date, you're good to go. If there are any updates in the GitHub repository, it will automatically pull those down for you. You should always rerun pip3 install dash r requirements dot text just to make sure if there are any new requirements that they have that you also get those just run git pull before you use any of the leap products and you'll make sure to have all of those updates coming in running iLeap is very simple it's also a very quick way to get an analysis of an iphone make sure you are keeping it up to date using git pull and that's it for today thank you very much